LVSD has tested on this project up to this point a little over 50 different types of parachutes. We test parachutes in wind tunnels. Uh, we test parachutes in other subsonic conditions, and uh, by that I mean that we pull on them with a rocket sled. Uh, and then thirdly, we test parachutes in a high altitude, low density, uh, supersonic environment to mimic what we do on Mars. Whenever we test parachutes in a wind tunnel, we're mainly looking for their aerodynamic performance. How much drag do they generate? Uh, and generally, how much stability do they have? How much do they move around inside the wind tunnel um, test chamber? And so the wind tunnel gives us that sort of information. Um, we also test our really big parachutes on rocket sled. And so we pull on the parachutes with several thousand pounds of force in order to test out their structural capability to make sure that they're built strong enough and that those are, we, we think that they'll survive supersonic. And then finally, we test the parachute supersonically to gain the rest of the information that we need, such as how does the parachute inflate in a supersonic environment? Does it overheat? Does it uh, fall apart during that process? So we make various modifications to a parachute. Uh, in order to do that, we take a general shape and we either poke holes in certain parts of it or we extend certain parts of it uh, to gain drag or gain stability. Now that's a difficult process because for a parachute, as drag goes up, stability goes down. And so we're trying to optimize a parachute in order to get both. 